Hi everyone, welcome to the series of problem solving through C programming. I am Varun and today we would like to overview the C language which is augmented by the discussion of structure of C program. As in the last session, some of you may have a doubt why these instructions or steps are not valid for communication as there is compiler available for translation. In order to understand this, let's recall the term compiler. Compiler, it converts program into machine code or language which is understandable by computer. Now just to understand the things in a better way, let's have an example of communication between two individuals, one of which is knowing and understanding Chinese language as well as French language, both and another one is knowing and understanding English language only. In order to perform the su successful exchange of information between two individuals, there is a translator required. We have a translator who is proficient in translating Chinese to English. That means translator have understanding of Chinese and English vocabulary and correct grammatical structure of language so to translate the Chinese to English. But if the first individual would start giving the information in French that is not understandable by translator, so there is a disruption in passing that information. Similar is in our case, first individual is human who only knows English and programming language C and second individual is computer who only knows machine language and compiler only knows the C language translation to machine language. So we conclude that there is a dedicated compiler for every programming language for which we need to understand and learn the vocabulary of every programming language that is the keywords of that language as well as the correct grammatical structure of language that is the syntax of language or syntax of using that keywords. So it also clears our thought that like learning the native languages have their own set of rules same is in the case of programming languages. Also, as using language which is not known by translator would disrupt the process, similar is with the case of compiler. If invalid keywords or incorrect syntaxes are being sent, there is a disruption, which in programming languages are known by errors. So, now from this point onwards, we are now start learning the C language which helps us to write these English like instructions into the compiler understandable instructions. Now coming over to introduction to C language. Let's start with the short history. C was originally developed in the 1970s by Dennis Ritchie at Bell Telephone Laboratories it is an outgrowth of two earlier languages called BCPL and B, which are also developed at Bell Laboratories. C, it seems a strange name for a programming language. But this strange sounding language is one of the most popular computer language because it is structured high level machine independent language. Next. It is a robust language whose rich set of built-in functions and operators can be used to write any complex program. Next is, programs written in C are efficient and fast. Next, C is highly portable. This means that C programs written for one computer can be run on any another computer with little or no modification. Next is, let's have a look on some symbols or special characters which are named in programming languages and throughout this course. This symbol pronounced as less than, this symbol or special character pronounced as greater than, these open brackets are pronounced as parentheses. These curly brackets are pronounced as curly brackets. This is backslash, this is semicolon and these are double quotes. And there are many more other 
special characters which are used in this programming language but still these are one of the most important special characters which are usually come into the structure of C program. Now let's have a look on structure of C program. This particular structure of C program should be followed every time whenever it is desired to write a C program. Here we discuss some of the sections which is required for a while while some of the sections are discussed later or as and when their use is required. Let's start with documentation section. Documentation section consists of a set of comment lines giving the name of the program, the author and other details which the programmer would like to use later. The next is preprocessor directives. The preprocessor directives contain special in instructions that indicate how to prepare the program for compilation. Global declaration section. This section would be discussed later as and when it is required. Next is the main function. Every C program must have one main function. This section contains two parts, local declaration part and statement part. The two parts must appear between the opening and the closing braces or curly brackets. The program execution begins at the opening curly bracket and ends at the closing curly bracket. The closing curly bracket of the main function section is the logical end of the program. Again I am repeating this particular structure of C program should be followed every time whenever it is desired to write a C program. Thank you for watching. For more videos do subscribe my channel Mackie Insight.